Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about traditional crosshatching. So, first off, what is crosshatching? Well, all it is is a very efficient and quick way to lay down tone. So, if you don't have access to paint and you wanted to add some shadow information to something, you could apply some simple crosshatching. And as you lay down individual strokes of your pencil next to one another, eventually they begin to build up tone or value. And the cross comes into play when you have an alternate direction to lay down a bit of a grid. And the more you do this, the darker the tone gets, alternating the direction as you go. So if that is cross hatching, let's talk about how to use it effectively. So here I've got the contour drawing of a pair and a light direction but there's no shadow information yet, and so I'm gonna lay some down with some crosshatching. Now, if at its most simple, I could simply lay down vertical and horizontal lines and build up some shadows. What this does is it flattens the object. I may get a compelling sense of light and dark, which lines up with the shadows as they should, but this doesn't tell the viewer anything about the shape of the pair. So if I'm going to lay down these marks, I might as well lay them down in the most efficient way possible and give the most information to the viewer. And that's where the beauty of crosshatching can really come into play. So instead, I'd like to imagine the structure of this pair as sort of like a grid. So here you can see I've got contour and cross contour lines that describe the surface of this pair. And when I look at the object, this is what I'm picturing. So the job now is to use cross-hatching pencil lines to impart this to the viewer. So I'll begin to lay in my cross-hatch strokes, but I'll draw them along the lines of that invisible grid. So here I'm drawing what on a globe would be like the equator. They would be lines of latitude. So I'm accomplishing two things. I'm simultaneously showing shadow information as well as indicating the form of this pair. And then I could do the cross contour in the same way. Still recognizing the shape of this pair, but also making a bit of a grid. So unlike the grid that was simple horizontals and verticals, this grid actually indicates the shape. And that's the really important part. And when it comes to the cast shadow, which is on the flat table, those will be simple horizontals because the table is flat. But where they wrap around the bottom of the pair, then they'd begin to curve up. As you can see, cross hatching is a very simple technique that will quickly show value and form. It's great for sketchbooks. It's really nice for if you're drawing out in the field and you wanna give a quick indication of something. But you notice that it's not a particularly finished technique. For now, enjoy sketching with some cross-hatching techniques, but look forward to future videos in which I'll talk about this same principle, but applied to paintings. So thanks for watching guys and have fun cross-hatching.